Hello, I'm Atuba George, and I'm so glad to be bringing God's truth to you. Let's pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray for everyone watching and listening to me right now. It is your spirit that quickens, Lord. The flesh profits nothing. So let every word that comes out of my mouth be spirit today. And let it minister life right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I speak to that ulcer pain right now. And I command it to leave you now. Let the ulcer go from you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I, I speak to every infirmity in your body. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Brangana Francusa Prochi Fata Kuko Barakate Ezufam Fundig La Branch de Kutofe Ia Shikun in Krantang Graduso Prakako Mugudusia. I speak to every infirmity in your body. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, God wants you well, He wants you well. You know why? He's got great plans for you and he needs you well to walk with him and carry out those great plans. So you're not going to die this year. No, you're not going to die. Praise God. Listening to me, I'm telling you what the Lord is saying. I should tell you right now. You are not going to die. Just, just stretch your hands right now. Yeah. You, you, you're watching me right now. And you've been so scared of death. You, it just keeps coming to your mind that you, you will soon die. You know, something just going to happen and you will die. You know, just you know, everything is causing stare of fear in your heart. Hear me? This is the word of the Lord to you. You have not been marked for death. Because his hand. Ah, bashumbra nakwati kabari his hand is upon you. There is a great plan he has for your life. And listen, that plan is being unveiled in 2021. <laughs> That's why the enemy have been sowing the thoughts of death in your heart for this while. You know why? He wants you to begin to confess it and confess it and then bam. But God has been keeping you in his mercy. Why? Because of the great plans that he has for you. Now, you've got to seal your mouth from confessing death. You've got to stop it. You've got to actually repent before him and say, Lord, I want to repent before you. I've been speaking death over my life for this long, Lord. It's not supposed to be. You came to give me life, Lord Jesus. And I accept the life you have come to give to me with understanding. That's how to pray. And death has no power over me. Yes, say it like that. Death, you have no power over me. I have received the life that Jesus brought. He, he brought me life in abundance. And that's the exact thing I receive from him. <laughs> I willingly open my heart to the abundant life right now. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Because the Lord says, you will not die. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Uh, someone has been healed in, in your elbow, elbow area. You've been having pains there. You can begin to twist it right now and, and just, you know, you're healed. <laughs> you can check it. Check it. You're healed. The pain in the back. Is gone. I saw someone back, like the middle, the, the 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 middle of your your body behind, like your spine or something like that. There's a pain that that goes on there. You are healed right now, <laughs> in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm enjoying this. Praise God. You're healed. Praise God. Listen, God wants you well. 
Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Every infirmity in your life, from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, I command it to leave you right now. Be free from every infirmity. Be free from every infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Now, don't start thinking, eh, eh, I'm the cause of these things. Hey, 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 whatever you think you have done, repent before the Lord. Say, Lord, I repent right now. When you see the grace of God walking right now, what do you do? Let every thought, bring every thought, just gather it and bring it under subjection to the mind, to the will of God. Yeah. God wants you well. Let no thought rise in your mind against that right now. You know, sometimes you're in an environment, God is doing marvelous things, and then you are just there thinking, eh, I, I, I know God would have healed me if not this, you see this sickness, I brought it upon myself. That's the wrongest thing to begin to think in such a situation. What do you think in such a situation? Lord, thank you for your mercy. Lord, I can see your mercy is working. I, I saw that person get here. Oh, that person, oh Lord, I see your mercy working. So Lord, I just accept the same mercy in my life. <laughs> oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Listen, as you are doing that right now, the healing, you can literally feel the presence of God go through your body. What's going on? He's healing you. Hallelujah. He's healing you. Oh, glory to God. The migraine headaches are gone completely. Cabo Shanta. Rapo nefraki la braha. Koko fefe nefuske de hekabash. You are healed. Glory to God. You are healed. Hallelujah. 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 Ale kopo brogishko brande nekesha. Someone with a nose. Something that has to do with the nose. Something that has to do with the nose. You've seen a doctor and, and, and there's something that has to do with your nose or something. You know, I declare it is gone from you right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be healed. Glory to God. Oh, we bless you, Father, for today. Kepon Greneshaka. Let Krambu Sapra Nehete, a Kuporo Fote, E Kalembra Nusiem Brakade Sopa, Re Paracua Kamenecote Le Ebregedi Ekedia, Alacoman. If you couldn't walk right now, get up and walk. Hallelujah. I, I see. I see someone sitting down because of serious, I mean, acute waist pain. You, you can stand up straight to walk. You know, anytime you walk, you have to bend to walk. I'm seeing someone right now. Listen to me. Get up. <laughs> stand up right now. Get up. Stand straight. Yes, stand straight. You are healed. <laughs> it's not coming back. Don't be afraid. It's not coming back. Be healed in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Let the power of God go through your body right now and effect that healing in every tissue in your body, every cell in your body. It's not just a temporary thing. It's the healing from God. He is stretching it out. Praise God. You are healed. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I, I, I pray issues with the eyes being healed right now oh thank you holy spirit you are seeing well hallelujah be healed in your eyes be healed in your ears be healed every part of your body from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet be healed right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. God is healing you because he wants you strong. 2021 is going to be a matching year. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know, when I say matching year, I, I just see God giving order to an army. I, I see God giving command to an army. Go right. And everybody else. You know, listen, when I think of 2021, that's all I see. That's all I see. I see the kingdom of God being established. We, we are going to see the rise 
of God's children like the world have never seen. I'm telling you, you are going to see, you're going to see ministries rise. You're going to see men of God that you want, where has this one been? <laughs> and they are not new. They didn't just start yesterday. You know why? I hear the Lord say this to me. From 2021, I am bringing out my last army. Halabraka shakabaya. Mm, the world is about to see. This is the things that you fear. The, 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 oh, she bland I keep telling you this. Don't set your ears or your eyes to what the news is saying. Pay attention to what God is saying. If the news is saying there's recession and God tells you, stand up and prosper, that's all that matters. Don't start asking yourself, where will I turn? There's recession everywhere. If God says stand up and prosper, do you know what that means? It means, uh, you remember that man by the pool of Bethsaida? Jesus met him and asked him, do you want to get well? And the man said, oh, I just that when the angel comes, you know, there's nobody to carry me into the water. So, and Jesus said, get up, take up your bed. And go home. <laughs> Jesus didn't start telling him, okay, I understand. Oh, I understand. Okay, you know what? Since nobody's there to help you, I want to help you. Yeah, let me carry you and put you inside the water. Now the angel is going to stay this water. Now. Why didn't Jesus take that route? It's because God had already healed the man. Oh. God had already healed the man. So Jesus said, do you want to get well? Uh, you, you, know, you, know, you know how these things work. You understand it until you've been there. You know, sometimes people come to you, they think they are sick. And what, why are you trying to pray for them? And God said, no, I've healed him already. I'm like, you're healed already. No, pastor, please just pray. No, you're healed already. You know, I remember someone like, person had a doctor's report. And the person was telling me, Pastor, blah, blah, you know, as, as I thought, you know, to pray for the person. The Lord said, no, I've healed this one since. And I said, I told the person, you know what, I'm not going to pray for you. And they're like, yeah, you are going to go to the doctor and you will discover that you are healed because God has healed you. And the person went to the doctor and, and they did their test and realized that the sickness wasn't there anymore. <laughs> but you see, if God hadn't said it, the person would have still been walking with the mindset, I'm still sick. That, that's why God speaks to us sometimes. So I can imagine Jesus looking at that man and like, this man is not sick now. <laughs> you know? So what are you doing here? So, hey, you, you, you in particular. It wasn't that everybody here, do you want to get? There were many sick people there. So Jesus looked at the man and why is this man lying down here? And he's been here for 38 long years. Come on now, God is not that wicked. See, hey, Do you want to get well at all? I believe that's how Jesus was. Do you want to get well at all? Eh, get up. Take up your bed and go home. Just like that. He didn't pray for him. Any guy put his feet down. Realized he could stand up. He, he carried his bed. Where are all the pains? They were gone. So you now want to ask, was it Jesus that healed the guy? Or was the, this Jesus was just announcing to the guy that God has healed you already? <laughs> now whatever it is, the man got healed and he got home. Now, there are people like that. God has healed them already. But they don't know. That's why prophetic words like this come. And when they act on it, they realize that, oh, I'm good. So in the name of the Lord, Jesus, whatever you couldn't do before now, in terms of your health and abilities, I declare you free from everything that I've held you bound. Get up and begin to do what you couldn't do before. And you will find out that God has healed you already. Praise God, praise God, praise God, praise God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we give you praise. Thank you, Father. This is, this is awesome. 
Thank you for all the miracles that just happened right now. And for the knowledge to your children. Thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Hey, praise God. I'll see you tomorrow. And if you've been healed, I want to hear from you. Send me a message. It's good to acknowledge God that he has done this for you. God bless you. Bye-bye.